I've kept this video separate so it can be shared without the need for my long love letter to the franchise, and because of the legally dubious nature of this process. There are three parts to this, the game files, the launcher, and the editor. For the game files, if you have the game downloaded to your computer already, simply copy and paste your game files to a new, non-epic games location, and I'd advise you zip them too, just in case. Maybe store that on a cloud storage location like Google Drive. If you don't already have the game downloaded, you cannot download it any longer from the Epic Games launcher. I'm sure there will be external locations it is stored, but as it is illegal to share the game files myself, I will not comment on anywhere you could get them. All I will say is that if you poke through the different UT communities and Discord servers, I'm sure you can find someone who would be willing to DM you a solution to your problems. For the launcher, join the UT4UU Discord the unofficial update for UT4, and follow the instructions there. The current version as of writing is version 10 beta 5 hotfix. It's perfectly stable and allows you to launch the game with an Epic Games launcher. This is where I have to add a bit of conjecture on my part. There is a whole element to where you select your Epic Games account in UT4UU and it pulls your data. Presumably, the data will be null when the game is killed on January 24th. But there is the ability to play offline, which I think will still allow you to play the game from the games folder offline with bots, just without any of your progression or sign-in information. If all you want to do is play the game offline with bots, you can stop there. For online multiplayer, I don't know what's going on there and the process is still in progress, so checking in with Discord communities like UT4UU and the Unreal Tournament Discord will allow you to keep your finger on that pulse. As for the editor, like the game files, I believe if you just copy and paste that outside the Epic Games folder on your computer, and save it maybe to a very large zip file, it should still launch and should still work. It's an instanced version of the Unreal editor. With all this said, I'm not sure if it will work post-kill. And if it doesn't, I will take this video down so as not to mislead people. But hopefully, for some of you, this is a way you can keep the game alive for yourself continue to download maps and play them, even if it's just offline with bots. Good luck, my fellow players, and happy fragging.